Jackson, this is Richard Varga. Hi. Also known as The Fish. And we'd like to show you how to put on your triathlon wetsuit. So now to prepare to put on your wetsuit. You're going to need your nice who wetsuit. Other wetsuits can be used, I must point that out. And two carrier bags, or plastic bags. Here's Richard got his plastic bags on and now he's going to put the suit up to his knees. It's small coverage of the body at a time, it's not trying to cover it all in one go. He's now going to take the wetsuit up over the thighs to the waist. It's important to get high in the crotch. Make sure, as we spoke about earlier, you only pull a small amount of neoprene at a time to smooth out. Richard's now going to get his sleeves onto his arms and he's going to go back to the trusted plastic bags. If you have the Archimedes with the bicep release panel, it's important to get these high and over the, uh, the peak of the bicep. On the inside of the arm, you'll see the dots. That's actually the Morse code for the word who. And it's important that they're on the forearm, running down the forearm through the middle of the hand. And again, Adjusting small pieces of neoprene at a time. It's very fine neoprene on the arms. It can be very difficult to get hold of. But I guess the only person will know if you peach your skin will be you. You can see Richard's um, sleeve is finished quite a way up his forearm. Don't think that the wetsuit sleeve has to finish at your wrist. It's where you feel comfortable. The hoop wetsuits use um, a breakaway zipper and we strongly advise you fasten that up at least an inch at the bottom before you put the suit on. Our entry level suit doesn't have this, it has a regular zipper and other wetsuits from other, other companies will use a, a regular zipper also. So you fasten the suit up, on the breakaway zipper there's a stopper here, just take the zipper to there and you'll feel the, the resistance and let that stop there. The Velcro has a channel, so you take the lanyard and run it through the channel so you have the velcro there and the velcro there. Smooth out the protective pad and then your lanyard. Some athletes like to have it next to them higher, some tuck it underneath their goggles and swim hat, some just let it go dangle. It's a personal preference but as this breakaway zipper is just one small pull I'd probably advise just tucking it underneath. And with this type of zipper no one can pull it from behind and, um, and pull it down accidentally. It's, uh, it's a very secure zipper, especially when you take the lanyard through the Velcro. So now we have the suit on Richard, we need to do some final adjustments. And one of the key ones is getting any excess neoprene up the top of the chest and higher up the front. So now we have the suit high at the front, it's important we have it high at the back. So we're gonna repeat that. So Richard, if you just lean back for me. So we'll take the excess around the lower back. You can be a bit firmer with this and pull that up. What we've done now is we brought the front high and now we brought the back high. And that should improve the fit around the shoulders. So we see Richard hasn't got the bicep sitting Essentially on his calf muscle, so just a little bit of adjustment. And it's one of those fine tuning things just to, to bring that round. If you like your wetsuit ankle cut higher, and some people do like that for getting out of it, we do tape the seams so you have a good three inches to be able to cut up and 
cut their ankles off. Just a personal preference or speed of getting no out. No matter what suit brand you have, make sure that those seams are covered. Because if they're not taped and covered, then the stitching will unravel and you'll have all of your calf splitting in the race. So there we have putting on a wetsuit. Well, that's the hoob way. There's many different ways of adjusting and finding the right fit of the suit. This is what we found to be most effective. The only thing we haven't done is uh, put some lubrication around Rich's neck. No matter what suit brand you have and how we all try to design a, a non-abrasive um, neck, there's always going to be different body shapes. So always make sure you use a, a suit lube or some product that's got some, some slippy content, some aloe vera or some arnica that's going to keep you nice and, and smooth and also soothe any uh, abrasions that may happen. Uh, you can also use that on the, on the wrist, on the outside of the suit to help you get out of the suit. I'd like to thank Richard for helping me put on his suit. Hope we've all got something from it. Any questions, it's dino at hoopdesign.com.